I'm gentleman from Washington. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> as we close this debate and finally put this on the back burner until November when we have to come back and look at it again, perhaps, we'll see. I, I sense uh, one of the speakers on the other side talked about confusion. My view is that the confusion here is between whether we're going to send unemployment checks or we're going to tell people, go hungry. That's the confusion. People say, well, it's about paying for it. I will remind my colleagues on the other side. Mr. Bush was president for eight years, and when we did unemployment, we did it on an emergency basis. We never paid for it one time, and you guys had all, the Republicans, I'm not supposed to address them directly, they didn't pay for it, Mr. Speaker. They were in charge. And their president was in charge, but they called it an emergency. Now, under Mr. Obama, it's not an emergency. Suddenly, we're going to use, we're going to tie up people's minds and try and confuse them. But the fact is that for six weeks, we have said to workers in this country, we are not going to extend benefits. Now, we have never in the history of this country when unemployment was at 7.2 or above, failed to extend benefits until the Republicans got a serious case of fiscal, well, I'm not going to say exactly what I think, but fiscal disease has overtaken their mind. And they suddenly caught this thing. I don't know, it must be in the air around here or somewhere down the river between Cincinnati and Kentucky, they got leadership who said, you know, if we could infect everybody with this fiscal fear, we could, we'll just sacrifice a few million. It's only two and a half million people who are going to lose their benefits. So it's not very many. There's 300 million in America. And we could throw away two and a half million. That's easy. They won't vote. They're too stupid to know who's doing it to them. That's the kind of message you're sending when you're saying you won't give unemployment benefits. This is, this is so easily understood by the American people. This is not climate change. This is not all the complicated stuff. Some people around here think the American people have a very short memory span, but they don't on stuff where it's right down to the bone. And you will remember this day as the day when finally the Republicans came to their senses. They finally said, you know, this ain't going to work. It really ain't going to work. We're not going to admit it. We're going to say we were doing it on principle. But there is no principle at the table when the mother opens the cupboard and there's nothing in it. Or when the lights aren't turned down because you haven't paid the utility bills or when the water's turned off because you haven't paid your water bill. What does a mother say the principle is? Now, kids, get in the bathtub, but there's no water. Clean yourself up, right? What kind of nonsense is this? You think this money is going for people to buy iPads or iPhones or i4 phones or whatever? This is going for the necessities of life. And you're saying to ordinary people in this country, well, we have a principle that we, we, under the Democrats, we have to pay for it. Now, not under the Democrats. And I can hardly wait till we get the proposals over from the Senate to extend the tax breaks. And watch you guys do a double flip. You will get a 10 in Olympic terms for your ability to do a double flip and say, well, now we don't have to pay for it. And watch, they're going to send over the estate tax. They are going to send over a bailout for the people at the very top. And you're going to say, oh, well, we don't have to pay for them. Oh, no. No, no, they're very rich. And we can't, no, 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 we can't pay for that. No, no. But we're going to make us pay for the people who are in the most dire distress in this society. It's really shameful. And I... Enjoy. I'm going to watch with pleasure as you vote no, as you vote yourself out of here.
I yield back the balance of my time and urge my colleagues to vote for this bill.